Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day eight. Today we remain inside of our contacts applet, and now that we know how to add contacts and filter and or create smart views, there may be times where we want to take action and apply the same action to multiple contacts at once. So today we're gonna to talk about our bulk action menu. So contacts again, second applet down, left hand side. We've got all of our fake contacts, our cartoon characters and movie characters here in the database. And there may be a time where we want to perform a series of actions on multiple contacts at once. And instead of having to go one by one by one, we'd like to do it in bulk. We can do so by selecting one or more contacts in our list just by checking off the box to the left of their name. You can see once I make that checkbox, a bulk action menu shows up. Without having checked at least one, we don't have that bulk action box. Once I check one though, you can see the bulk action box does come up. Now it is important to know that when you're viewing your contacts, you do have a choice as to how many you view on the screen at once. Right now we're showing all 13 of the contacts in the database, but you can see if I hover over this show one through 13 on the top right hand corner, I can click on it and get a drop down that allows me to show anywhere from 10 to 500 contacts on the screen at once. So I can choose any one of those five options. This is really helpful if you're going to do, be, be doing bulk actions for a large number of contacts think 100 at a time or even 500 at a time. But right now we'll go ahead and keep it for 50 contacts. Um, but when you choose, whichever one you choose, if you'd like to highlight all of the contacts being shown, you can check the checkbox next to name and you'll see that will select all of the contacts available. Diving into the bulk action menu, I can just click this drop down. You can see we've got uh, you know probably about 15-ish options here. So add activity, if we go that route, you can see that we can log perhaps all of our database was at a meeting. Probably not gonna happen that often. Uh, but if we wanted to log multiple people that attended a meeting, we could certainly do that by just checking off the ones that were at our seminar or meeting. Uh, if we were working through our call list and instead of logging the calls one by one, we wanted to log the calls all at once, we could do that. If we were sending out bulk emails, bulk texts, um, if you're doing this inside command, these are both gonna be logged, but perhaps you're using a, an outside system and you wanna log the fact that you sent those emails or texts. Uh, in addition, direct mail, that is not currently logged. So if you do a direct mail campaign, which we'll get to later in the challenge, it doesn't show up on the contact record. So this is a great way if you send out postcards maybe to your farm or to all your VIPs, you could log the fact that you sent them a postcard. We could go ahead and add a note as well, the last option. So if we wanted to do a note, uh, we could do something like uh, contacts imported, and then we could be contacts imported. Those guys got added on, I think that was what, 09-30-23 via bulk import spreadsheet care of Brooks Silva. There we go. Now, if I choose add activity, we're gonna see that that activity was just added to 13 contacts. And if we open any one of those, here's that note created. So add activity is great if you're doing one activity for multiple contacts across the board. We've also got the ability, again, we just added a note through activity, but they break that out as a separate option if you prefer. You can also add or remove tags in bulk. So you can see add tags and then remove tags. <coughs> right now we've got the tag fake people and all of our contacts. We could come in and remove that tag all at once. So I could just search for that tag. It'll even tell me how many contacts are assigned to it. I know I have 13. That tag should be applied to all 13. Right now it's only applied to 12. So I could go in and choose to remove it. Maybe I misspelled something, maybe it's the wrong tag. Maybe I wanna apply a different tag. We could remove the selected tag. And if we do a quick refresh, we should see that tag now gone from everybody. 
And then we can go back and select everyone again and say, oops, we didn't want to do that. Let's go back in and add the tag. We'll look for fake people. And now we have added that tag to 13 people. So now the entire database has that tag. In addition, we have the option to add to an email list. We'll talk about this when we get to campaigns. We can add to a smart plan. We'll talk about this when we get to smart plans. We can choose to archive a contact. We're actually going to talk about this tomorrow when we get into archive, delete, etc. Change account impacts teams and those that have teams that want to move contacts from their personal to the team account or from the team account back to the personal. We'll get to that when we do some uh, team training at the very end of the challenge. You also have the ability to export contacts. So if you want to export them in full with a full CSV, you could do that. You could export just mailing labels in a CSV format or a PDF format. You can choose to mark all of your contacts as a lead or unmark them as a lead. Remember in command, we typically use the word lead as someone we have not yet made contact with and contact as someone that we have made contact with. You also have the ability to do bulk texting through Twilio. We'll talk about Twilio a little later. If you wanted to send one text message to a bunch of contacts at once, you certainly could. Best practices in Twilio still remain no more than 200 unique users per day. And then you've got share copy that really impacts those with teams as well. So that's our bulk action menu again. You won't see that menu unless you have checked one of the boxes to the left of any one or multiple or all your contacts at once. And again, as a refresh, you can decide how many contacts you see on the screen just by clicking on this show one through whatever that number may be and choose whether you want to see 10, 25, 50, 100 or 500 at once. The bulk action menu can be a great tool, especially as your database continues to grow. Definitely recommend you check into it. Using yesterday's filters and smart views, you could certainly apply a filter to a specific group of contacts and then take a bulk action based upon that filter as well. So that's it for today, guys. Day eight. Look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day.